guys, I'm going to Nigeria. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fun. Hey guys, please excuse how scrappy I look. There is a situation. Um, I'm supposed to be traveling to Nigeria in exactly three days now. Yes, three days. And I'm super excited, but I do not have my passport with me. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a lot <laughs> because... Honestly, I've just been trying not to stress about it. I've been trying to stay calm and I've just been praying a lot now because I have to get on that plane. So today is Friday and my flight is for Monday. I keep checking my mailbox to see if, you know, they've sent it. I keep checking my email to see if I get any notification. Um, it's just been a very stressful process. But long story short, I applied for a transit visa because I have a layover in the UK. <clears throat> so I just opted for a transit visa, which should typically not take long, right? But honestly, it's been over a month since I started the process. And so they've had my passport for like three weeks now. I don't know if I should change my tickets. Like, I'm thinking, should I change my flight ticket to a later? day but i need to be in lagos this week like I, I just have to be there there's a program that i really want to go for it's called reboot camp and it's just always an amazing time and this will be my first time attending in person and i've really been looking forward to it so prayers up guys honestly it's, it's tight it's tight anyways i want to go down and check my mailbox today because literally that's what I've been doing every day. I've been checking my mailbox for the past one week, just trying to see if they've dropped it there. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep you guys posted. Hopefully I get my passport today. If it doesn't come on Monday, what am I going to do? Like, I'm not going to be able to travel. So yeah, anyways, let's, let me go and check. Popping up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find her image with the rest. I'll be running out of breeze. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer. Greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky. And I'ma wait up on the giver. He'll deliver like a dealer. out the key and tell her this is for becoming even in the fever baby cry and get to running hey guys so it is exactly six hours to my trip and i still don't have my passport yeah i know shit is getting real and at this point i am just trying to stay calm i'm done packing well almost done packing just have one or two things to add like my skincare that i just used um, but yeah, pretty much done packing. I've laid out my airport fit. <laughs> if this isn't mountain moving fit, I don't know what it is. But yeah, I am literally getting ready. Like I'm fully convinced I am getting my passport today. And I'm getting on that flight to Lagos. And I am landing safely in Jesus name. Amen. So it's 12 p.m. now. And I've honestly already gone to my mailbox this morning to check. And it was still empty. So, yeah. I honestly don't even know what their decision was. 
but i'm also trusting that they actually gave me the visa the transit visa um because yeah i don't think it'll be a good look if my passport has denied on it the day i'm about to travel right so yeah there's a lot that's still a bit up in the air but staying hopeful staying positive i feel like we haven't even been able to gist about you know my trip to lagos things i've been planning you know what i've been doing and i just haven't been able to really express my excitement because we are waiting for my passport anyways definitely at the airport we're going to gist and catch up because i have a layover of about i think five hours four or five hours so i'll fill you guys in on the plans i've been making honestly lagos is about to be lit you can see how i'm going like i'm literally gonna go bare like this is in the top i'm going to the airport but i'm literally going bare like i didn't get my nails done i didn't do lashes i didn't do what else do people do to travel i didn't get my hair done like this is just the wig i'm gonna use to travel because i plan on doing everything in lagos like i'm going to transform and honestly i'm so excited about my trip it might not look like it but i am very excited i haven't been home in four whole years like it's been too long and yeah i'm excited to go back to the motherland um i'm just gonna go down now to check on my passport hopefully it's in the mailbox and we can get going to the airport soon <clears throat> guys <laughs> i don't even know what to say i am so shocked i am startled i'm excited i'm nervous i think it's here this has to be it okay let me pin this actually so i can open it properly god please 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 thank you for making them deliver it but please let the decision be a yes a positive oh god oh my god guys <sighs> finish the good work you have started oh jesus it's another package <laughs> okay my passport is definitely in here we'll see the decision this is too much stress and i need to leave this country <sighs> guys i got it i got it i got it i got it oh my gosh oh my god thank you jesus thank you god for hearing my prayers guys i'm going to nigeria <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god i need to call my family i need to call my loved ones because i have been avoiding them all morning like i've been avoiding discussing it so i can just stay calm and not get them anxious i'm just so grateful i'm so grateful to god because changing my ticket would have cost like 7k between buying a new ticket and then changing the date of my current ticket like i didn't even know where i was going to start from i just told god please just come through for your girl like i bought this ticket since may that's how long i've been waiting for this trip since may guys only for this passport <laughs> to take how many weeks to get to me i'm going to make a boot camp in person hey god because honestly all my friends have been asking me oh are you going for a boot camp i've just been like yes yes i'm going meanwhile i don't have any passports but i just kept saying yes 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 i'm going trust god this is a sign to trust god in whatever situation it is that you are waiting on him for trust him trust him to come through in fact i have more faith about the things that i'm looking up to god for because there's other things but this is amazing guys we are going to lagos nigeria period period <laughs> I want to jump i want to scream i want to shout like we are going to lagos nigeria okay <laughs> it's about to be lit and an amazing time guys stick around guys honestly i need to take a moment to actually thank god properly for this so yeah i will see you guys in my airport fit yeah hey guys so literally rushing to the airport right now i did not come this far just to miss my flight just wanted to do a quick outfit check before i leave i'm wearing this cute jacket from fashion nova it has these hand things that i really like and i can zip it up or zip it down and just wearing a white short sleeve top underneath and some black stretchy flat pants i can't really show you the black pants Wait. 
so yeah this is what we're working with cute simple and comfortable i didn't want to wear jeans just because i want to be super comfortable on this journey it's going to be a long one the first flight is like seven hours have another layover in the uk after that another like six hour flight to lagos lagos here we come eh, okay, bye. yeah i'll go around the back a lot a lot <laughs> Four years, four years without. Nice country. Uh, yeah, it's it's hot as well, warm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And fun, lots to do. <laughs> really? Yes. I wanna go one day. Oh, you should, you yeah. should, and you should visit Lagos. That's my city. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't have friends there. I don't know which one is. Fair good. enough. <laughs> I mean, but you can still go as a tourist. Now it's one dollar to. 870 naira so it's that high so you can buy a pair of shoes in nigeria maybe for like five dollars okay if, if i uh, go to nigeria yeah for holiday yeah for one week like how, how much do you need how much yeah how much i need uh, do you think? <laughs> it also depends on like the activities you want to do if you're mostly just going for like food yeah food, uh, uh, yeah, beach, beach is, yeah. wouldn't cost much as and well. Nice hotel. Uh, okay, nice nice hotel might be pricey. One thousand yeah. is good. Yeah, one thousand would be good. <laughs> Should be not this kind of things where they make man see ya. Yeah. Yeah. And me, I understand, so your dad know like me. Yeah. Yeah. See me, I won't make you know, send me there for you, Kara. Yeah. And if not, you price me down. You are beautiful. Yeah, I'm so happy. You're making me the dark man shit. You're talking with the you, I'm like, tell me with this hopping, hopping, hopping. I never tell you, baby. This love will make me the star. Trying to find my way to the lounge and then my gates. I'm still good on time, so that's great. And yeah, they got sway very soon. Well, they should know we are the sound killer. The sound killer. <laughs> have to share the testimony of how i ended up in this beautiful lounge so i flew ba and also had lounge access but the lounge i was supposed to get access to was full can you imagine and they literally asked me to wait outside for people to leave before i could go in i'm like there's really no point waiting so i already start to walk back and then a guy stops me and he's like oh did they say you couldn't go in as well that it's full i'm like yeah and he's like don't worry that he has another um priority access to 
a second lounge which is the klm lounge and this guy i've never met do not know from anywhere literally offers to bring me into the lounge as his plus one and i'm just like uh okay <laughs> So we literally walk in together he tells them that oh i'm his plus one and literally after he does that he just walks off i'm like thank you so much like i'm struggling to even thank him and he's just like no it's okay and he just like walks up and doesn't even try to make conversation or talk to me by force because he got me lounge access anyways guys that's a testimony of how god made a way and i got to eat relax the food was so good guys it was so yummy and i'm glad i ate well <laughs> god you call me by my name, name the love you give me i just can't deny yeah no longer blinded i can see you i'm on my way to meet you we gotta talk you know all these trials and tribulations got me tired i need rest and I heard that I can come to you when weary of my flesh You awaken me from death, God I need you No more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God Hey guys, hope you can hear me. Currently at London Heathrow Airport. I landed here safely and just waiting for my connecting flight to Lagos. I traveled all the way with my mic just so I'm sure you guys can hear me. Now, come closer. Let's just a bit. <sighs> The past week has been has been a lot. I showed you guys a bit of it, you know, waiting for my passport to come and it coming literally at the nick of time. Like it came six hours to my flight. <laughs> but yeah, God is faithful and I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to God that I was able to make the trip. Even just being on the plane, I was already getting emotional because yeah, it was a journey. <laughs> so the first leg is done just need to wait for about two hours to lagos just because there was a long delay before we left toronto so yeah we left toronto pretty late lagos nigeria period i'm so excited guys should we do a meet and greet <laughs> i think we should do a meet and greet let me know in the comment section if you want that and maybe just maybe but first let's get to like 10k followers how about that guys i'm so excited to see my friends my family that i haven't seen in so many years like four years is a long time although a lot of people have actually jackrads so <laughs> not as many friends are still back home one of my closest friends just relocated to the uk like two months ago imagine after waiting like four years for us to see and yeah now that i'm finally coming home she wouldn't be around a good number of my close friends like close close g's are still in nigeria so i am happy i might even shed tears yes yeah i think i want to eat swallow first something something heavy something strong <laughs> to get started so i'm actually thinking of walking around duty free for a bit see what they have but yeah i don't think i have money for that so <laughs> Part of me is just saying sit down, sit put and relax. Relax myself for now. Yeah. That is the update. Train her feet for running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten. Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire then. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgiving all your old ways. But it's harder on the cold days. Never been a product of a flaw all this environment Never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you And I still pray Dear God, won't you send me a break? So 
your girl is home finally home i'm so happy so grateful to god for johnny mercies and just making it possible for me to be back in my house <laughs> like <clears throat> i'm so excited but also very tired so i just want to do a very quick check-in i did some nice skincare and also added this nice gold eye mask that i got it's so soothing just to bring back some moisture into my face after two days of traveling it's not easy <laughs> by the time i got my bags and everything it was already dark outside so yeah i couldn't really recognize a lot of things i couldn't really recognize the roads but i feel like tomorrow in the daytime things would you know start feeling more natural but yeah that's pretty much it for tonight um i will see you guys tomorrow although tomorrow is going to be a busy day so yeah let's see how it goes but stay tuned for an amazing time in lagos